What's going on guys? In this one we're going to be making crispy fried chicken burgers that taste absolutely incredible and they're super easy to make. But along with that we're also going to be making a tangy style mayonnaise which is what I actually used in the blooming onion recipe if you haven't seen that already. So let's get straight into it. Please sit back, relax and enjoy. Alright guys, let's start this off with the chicken marinade and this consists of 1 cup or 250 milliliters of buttermilk which will help soften the chicken, 1 tablespoon or 20 milliliters of sriracha sauce which is optional but it does add a really nice flavor and really isn't spicy at all, 1 teaspoon or 2.5 grams of smoked paprika for a nice sweet smokiness, 1 teaspoon or 2.5 grams of onion powder and 1 teaspoon or 2.5 grams of garlic powder with both of those adding a really nice concentrated flavor. Grab a whisk and give this a good mix to combine until smooth just until it's a light reddish color then in Introduce four large boneless and skinless chicken thighs, get your clean hands in there to massage the thighs nice and deep like ensuring all of the nooks and crannies are well coated, then wrap this up tightly and allow it to marinate in the fridge for a minimum of 30 minutes up to 48 hours. For the flour mix in a clean bowl add in 1.5 cups or 225 grams of plain all purpose flour, 3 tablespoons or 35 grams of corn flour or starch, 1 teaspoon or 2.5 grams of smoked paprika, 1 teaspoon or 2.5 grams of onion powder, 1 teaspoon or 2.5 grams of garlic powder and 1 teaspoon or 2.5 grams of celery salt. This can then be given a quick mix with a dry whisk or fork just until those spices and seasonings are evenly distributed through the flour then pop this aside for the time being. Now to make the most amazing mayonnaise, add 200 milliliters or 200 grams of olive oil to a tall jar or container as well as one large whole egg which will help emulsify, one and a half teaspoons or 15 milliliters of white vinegar for a nice acidic touch and one teaspoon or 10 grams of Dijon mustard for a delicious tang. Let's then place in an immersion blender and blend on low speed to mix and emulsify the ingredients creating a nice smooth and thick plain mayonnaise. And this can also be done by hand which I'll leave all of the details about in the description below. Also once finished don't do what I did in the blooming onion recipe and try and balance the blender. Anyway once that's done transfer the smooth plain mayonnaise to a clean bowl making sure that you get it all in there and not waste any and to take this to a whole nother level add in one teaspoon or two and a half grams of smoked paprika for that nice smokiness, one teaspoon or two and a half grams of garlic powder for that concentrated flavor, one tablespoon or 20 grams of tomato ketchup for sweetness and it doesn't really matter which brand you use, one tablespoon or 20 grams of horseradish to awaken the palate and add a nice little sweet tang, one tablespoon or 20 milliliters of Worcestershire sauce for a powerful sweet umami flavor and sea salt flakes to taste. Let's then get our whisk and mix to combine until everything is smooth and those flavors have become friends and this right here is seriously one of the tastiest sauces you'll ever make which can then be placed in the fridge until you're ready to serve. Now as for the burger fillings, you can really just use whatever you like or what you have available but I'm going with the classic approach of sliced tomato and washed baby cos lettuce leaves but like I said just use what you like for this. When you're ready to cook, place a large pot over high heat and pour in enough vegetable, canola or sunflower oil to fill the pot by half and heat it to 170 degrees celsius or 340 degrees fahrenheit and if you have a deep fryer you can just use that instead. We can now get out the marinated chicken that's enhanced in flavor and will have nicely tenderized, also getting the flour mix out that we prepared earlier. With the chicken, place one thigh in at a time into the flour and you don't need to remove any excess marinade, then gently dredge the chicken making sure that it's completely coated and there isn't any wet marinade spots in any of the little crevices, then shake off any excess flour and place it onto a plate whilst you do the other thighs. Once the oil's at the temperature needed, we're good to go so we can then gently place in the dredged thighs, doing this in batches if need be, also placing the chicken away from ourselves to avoid any oil splashing back and then fry these for 7 minutes, carefully flipping them over halfway through just to ensure that we get consistent colouring all over. In the meantime, prepare the burger buns on an oven tray facing up and I'm personally using brioche but you can use whatever buns you like and then make your way over to a preheated oven set at 180 degrees celsius or 350 degrees fahrenheit on the grill or broiler setting and toast for one minute on either side. After 7 minutes, carefully remove the beautifully golden brown and crispy chicken, placing it onto a wire rack over a tray or kitchen cloth over a plate and allow it to drain off any excess oil. Right about now the burger buns can also be removed from the oven and what you should have is a nice golden color all over and then being very lightly toasted. Now for the best bit, lather that delicious tangy mayonnaise over the top and bottom buns and I recommend using quite a lot as it's seriously so good and then spread it out with the back of a spoon to make sure that we're going to get the mayo with each bite as nothing is worse than a poorly assembled burger. 
As for putting it together, everyone does things differently, but I like to place down the lettuce first, then over the top, add three or four slices of tomato and give it a little sprinkle of sea salt flakes and a few or 10 cracks of black pepper. Next, we can bring out the crispy thighs and place it over the top of the tomato. And then here I have my pickled cucumbers, which I'll leave my link to in the description below if you're interested. But of course, these are optional. And last but not least, we can close this up with a top bun, gently pushing it down. And here we have the most delicious, crispy, juicy and moist chicken burger or sandwich, depending on what you want to call it. And then we can't forget that incredible tangy mayonnaise, which in my opinion really makes this so special. You can serve this up on its own with chips or fries or just serve it with more tangy mayo. But with whichever you choose, let's make all of this worthwhile and that is we can then dig in.